everyone. Okay, I'm gonna need the energy to be up because this is a different, unique, special kind of class, okay? It's not the sit down and then the talk about, you know, past experiences and all of that. It's gonna be extremely energetic. So when I say hello, I wanna hear you say hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce runway coach extraordinaire, the queen of the runway, Miss J. There you go. Walk it, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> Come on. Well, 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 well. <laughs> There you go, work it, work it, work it. <laughs> That's a little warm up. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. It's my first time here in Nigeria. They've been making fashion statements. So I've been going to some of the stalls and I've been grabbing a few things for me to wear to sort of like accessorize my outfits. Um, this is an experience for me. Jay, by the way, I love your head piss. It's, it's, it's from Turban Tempest? This is a Turban Tempest that I walked by today <laughs> and I was like, this is a must have. Jay has been everywhere today. He has shopped. I love your necklace. I love the hand chain. And the it's necklaces, the woman said we don't have a name. <laughs> so I call her the necklace lady. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, talk so, to me. Okay. So, oh, by the way, my name is Abisuri. I know it doesn't matter. We're all here for Miss J, but I just thought I'd put that in, by the way. Okay, so we're here to talk about uh, Africa's Next Top Model. We're here to... Are you going to have that show here soon? Yeah. Nigeria's Next Top. Yeah. I'm sure we have so, so many models. So, I ask you, who wants to be Nigeria's Next Top Model? <laughs> I don't hear you. I really don't hear you. We Jay, they, want, they want to learn how to walk, how to do your walk, and maybe learn how to, you teach them some struts, you teach them how to prepare for a go-see, uh, when they want to go see a designer, they want you to show them how the likes of Tyra Banks, Adriana Lima, how, you know. It's, in this business, normally I leave you with giving you call what I call Miss J Tips. Okay. But first of all, a little bit about me. Enough about you, girl. Enough okay, about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm from New York City, South Bronx. I'm number seven of ten kids. I went to school to be an accountant. Then I sort of got stopped by a woman in New York City on the street to model for Jean Paul Gaultier. So I ended up moving to Japan for two and a half, three years. After that, Paris. So Paris is my home when I'm not traveling. And Tyra Banks came with the show idea. Mm -hmm. After I've been teaching girls how to walk, Tyra's one of the students that I work with mm -hmm. um, during Fashion Week in Paris. And then it was Lindy Evangelista's husband who thought that I should teach the girls how to walk because what I was doing was hanging out backstage and sort of like making fun of the girls. Okay. So if a girl was walking, for example, <laughs> What kind of work is that? What would you call that one? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing walk. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, girl, you got to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to lean back a bit and feel the music. Okay. You have to feel it. And when you feel it, here, but... keep your personality into it. Okay. But the most important thing for girls is when you're going to casting, which is very, very important for those of you who really want to be a model, I always say go in with a clean face. All right. A little bit of powder, a little bit of lip gloss, hair pulled back, because we love a good lace front. <laughs> we love a good weave. We love a good wiggly. So I don't need to get a face bit when I'm going for a go-see? A what? A face bit, you know, my foundation, my... Well, you want to do a little bit of light powder. Okay. A little bit of lip gloss. Okay. A little mascara so you don't feel naked. 
No lashes. And when they ask you to walk at a casting for most designers who are sort of at that level, okay. normally you don't see the designer at all. You see a casting director. And when they ask you to walk, I don't suggest that you walk. And Tracy, you know this, Miss Tracy Beach, you know how that works. <laughs> see, when they ask you to walk at a casting, this is what they really want. So if I am standing here, you're the casting director and the de designer may or may not be there. They say, can you walk for me? This is what you do. You turn around and you walk simple. Never do this. So, um, <laughs> what kind She's of walk? She's just do, nervous. What kind Jay. of walk? No, what kind of walk do you want? <laughs> like, do you want a slow walk, a sexy walk? No, just walk. And never do this. And I'm gonna tell you why. Never ever do this, girls or guys. Well, for the girls, you never do this. Yes. You don't do that. Okay. They've already seen your walk from there to here. Mm -hmm. So when you walk from there, put in your A game and come back. Mm -hmm. Turn around and walk back. And for guys, please don't do this. It's all part of the swag, no? <laughs> Jay, I don't think anyone really does that. <laughs> or as they used to do up in the hood. Never, never, never. Just be really, really just chest up and just be cool. Just be simple. Jay, I think we're going to need to try this out. Let's try it out. What do you think? Yeah? Well, we can. I think we should try it out. Let's have a few people come and let's see what the Australia is like. How I about need, that? I, okay, what I need is I need three guys and three girls. Okay, three guys and three girls. Okay? All right. Come up. And remember, we're yes. also in the life and the year of Instagram models. Yeah. Let's we'll talk about that, too. Get you over here. Sorry? Okay. Girl, where are you going to bottle water? JJ, guess what? We're going to be giving out gifts to the best trot. So you're going to be a judge. Okay. Yeah, you're going to watch it. I need guys over here. I need three guys here. The guys here? Can we have the guys here? Ooh, you tall. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Kelechi. 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 Eyo, it's Kelechi here. Okay. Kelechi. So, did you ever dream about being a model? Yes, I have a strong passion for modeling. She says she has a passion. She has a very strong passion for modeling. Mm -hmm. Let's have the walk. Who are some of your favorite models? Bolaji Fawe. Who? Bolaji Fawe. Bolaji? <laughs> oh, Bolaji. Okay. So now, this is your opportunity because somewhere in this audience is someone that can maybe make you a star. Show us what you got. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to put your hands together. You need to encourage her, okay? <laughs> Jay, runway or editorial? Now, what I need you to do is now, think, who's your favorite designer? Oh, girl. Girl. You just lost your job. <laughs> Maybe she should stick to editorial. Maybe so, it's editorial for her. No. No? 
We need to get this girl walking the runway like she's got some life and energy in her. Okay. So now show me your personality. Again, walk, but I need you to turn it on. You ready? Go ahead. Yep. So when all else fails, you smile. So my tip for you is stand up straight, shoulders back a bit, and wear some heels. Get out of here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put Thank your hands you. together for her, please. You're going to stand here. Come and stand here. What's your name? My name is Jessica Makoli. No, you can go. Thank Jessica you. Makoli? Oh, Jessica Makoli. And how are you? I'm good. Are you nervous? I'm not. Are well, you that, you're that confident? Yes, it's her okay. runway. So, who's your favorite designer? Um, Amos, uh, Ejiro A. Mustafiri. Ejiro A. Mustafiri. Okay. So now you're going to walk as though you're wearing one of his outfits. Is it her? Mm -hmm. Of one her. Of, of her. <laughs> they're just, they're I heard you back there saying, her, her. I got you, boo. Okay. Feel fabulous. Keep your personality. And think you are... A million dollar babe, okay? Walk for me. Oh, yes, Hansi. Put your hands together, yes, please. Yes, yes. You go, girl. Yes. 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 And she said, I may not be your height, but I'm going to put on my damn invisible heels that she gave you. Let me see. She served, darling. Fierce. I call this the inky slink, the inky slink, the inky slink. Yes. And how tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. She's 5'5", five, five, but she walked as though she was 6'6". Six, six. Bravo. Yes. Bravo to you. Next. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Jay, take it easy on her. <laughs> What's your name? Twing. 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 Okay. Twing. Now I want to ask her up close. Girl, what time do you start putting that makeup on today? I actually did it here. I didn't come with any makeup. She on. didn't hear you. You have to say it again. Baby, no, she just answered the question. Oh, she answered she it, baby. <laughs> this girl is painted. <laughs> I can see you sitting in the back row and every bit of that detail. You did your own makeup? They did it here. It was a Nigerian makeup. Um, BM Pro? BM Pro. We just gave them a good old plug. These girls love good. They love some makeup here in the city. Mm -hmm. You girls love makeup. <laughs> And I mean, you girls be painting back. I mean, it's like somebody took their foot and your, said, lay down, and took makeup brushes in their feet and hands and did like this. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go into your ultimate fantasy mm -hmm. that you're walking down a Parisian runway. Who's your favorite French designer? French, um, Givenchy. Givenchy. Qui va de Givenchy? The. Vous parlez français? Okay, voilà. So, think of yourself walking down, opening up the Givenchy show. What would you do? Show us, because they want to see it. You go, girl. They're not too impressed. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you and tell you what she was thinking. So I need apples, I need some oranges. I think I'm gonna make some fungo for dinner tonight. Um, let me see, I need some bread. Um, I get some water and some milk for the kids. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, oh yeah, oh no. My man's gonna eat outside after work tonight, so I have to cook for him, yeah, okay. So, Girl, we need energy. We need fierceness. We need you to be fabulous. Mm -hmm. 
Give it to us. Yes. Snap, crack, and pop, boo. Let's Be go. Woo! Put your hands together, please. Wind in the hair, wind in the hair, wind in the hair. Yes, wind in the hair. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to your left, my right. Bring it to daddy, baby. Come on. Come on. What's your name? Christian. Christian. A very simple, easy name, Christian. Okay. So have you thought about being a model, or what would you like to do? What are you doing for work? Um, I would love to be a model also. You would love to be a model? Have you ever walked on a catwalk before? No. Are you nervous? No. You're not nervous? You're shaking like a, like, like a leaf in the wind a little bit. I feel it. Oh, it's your first time. It's his first time. <laughs> On the runaway. On the runaway, Jay. That's what he means. <laughs> I know where you're going. And the first time always hurts. <laughs> so. <laughs> On the runaway. <laughs> so, baby, I say, take an Advil. Bite on a cube of ice and hit it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to walk down there and give it all you got. Relax your shoulders. Because you're walking like this, you're standing like this. Relax. Are you married? No. Are uh, you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. I'm trying to hook you up. I'm trying to hook you up. I am your wingman. I got the connections all on quick dial. So, but you need to have swaggers. The girls that I know need a man with swagger. Okay? Do your thing. Encourage him. <laughs> you see? He's almost there. He's halfway. Hold this for me. <laughs> this was you. I need you to walk a little more relaxed. Relax your shoulders. Walk like you're being chased by the American police. Okay. <laughs> the American walk police. Yes. Walk like you're being chased by the American police and you don't want to get caught. Energy, okay? Do it again. Relax your shoulders. Longer steps and go. Longer steps. <laughs> I think you should stick to your day job. Stick to your day job. Don't model. A bow? Okay. <laughs> okay, there's a thing called a signature walk. That was a signature bow. <laughs> Gracious. Thank you. Thank you very much. I see a little bit of attitude right already. What's your name? Dior. Dior, as in Dior. Duel. Oh, Duel. Look, look. Baby, what you been eating? Because she must, she must be over 60 because it's all gray. <laughs> Jay, he's a young man. <laughs> he's probably just 24. <laughs> so, talk to me. So what do you do for a living? Um, I'm into travel and tasks. You're into? Travel and tasks. Oh, you're a writer. And uh, who are some of your favorite writers? Wally Shrinka, uh, William Shakespeare, and um, many other books. So ladies, he's smart, he's intelligent, he's a writer. And he likes Shakespeare. 
They have some so, love points. do you have any fantasies? And I don't mean that, so keep your mind out the gutter. Keep your mind out the toilet. What kind of fantasies do you have about fashion? What kind, of fa what kind of sort of fantasies? Have you ever fantasized about modeling? Um, I love the facial part of it, um, especially the wrong way. I mean, the girls want to hear you when you speak up louder, baby. I, said, I love the facial part of it and um, the wrong way aspects, too. So you like the runway part of it? Okay, show this audience what it is about this fashion business that you love. You said you like the runway, do your thing. Okay. Okay. He said he likes the runway part of it. Now normally when a person walks that slow, you know what I always say? Walk like you're running from a gangbang, you don't want to get caught. But clearly, you may want to get caught because you walk a real slow boo. So here, remember what I said, walk like you're being chased from the American police and you don't want to get caught. So let me, let me show you how you're walking. Hold this. Do you think he should just stick to writing? What do you think? Well, he should stick to running. Oh, running. <laughs> I want you to do it one more time, but I want you to walk a little bit faster, okay? Hit it, a little bit faster. Longer there you steps. go. There you go. There you go. Ooh! And bring the You're chin down it. just a bit. Bring your chin down a bit. The head not so high up, okay? Remember that. When you hear, whoop, 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 whoop. Walk like you're being chased, because that's the police coming to get you. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies, he's a writer and he's smart. Ooh. <laughs> the last, but not the list. Now we already know this is a bunch of attitude. <laughs> so I've been a height, black, pegged pants, Jacket of the shoulder, the little brooch, you know, it's a cute moment. And the attitude is very, 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 very. Okay. Talk to me. Your name. What's your name? Russell. Oh. <laughs> Russell Simmons, no? Yes, what's your name? Russell. Okay, what do you do, Russell? Sorry? What do you do? I'm a model and um, a fashion school in, um, instructor. Mm-hmm. Girl, little girl. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now, a black girl loves a good pat on the weave. <laughs> so you are a fashion model and an instructor. Oh, fashion school instructor. Oh, so you're talented. I think I saw Julie McDonald here. Julian, baby, if you need a good pattern maker. Trace, if you need a good pattern maker, baby. We got one right here. So you know how to grade a pattern? Now, you know they make a lot of money. Do you know that? Because if you can't grade Julian or Tracy's patterns or any of these fierce and fabulous designers here, you ain't got a job, okay, good. So, where did you get the height from? See, my height comes to my father. My mother was here. No, my mother was here, Mary, Mary Elizabeth Cohen Jenkins, mm -hmm. and my father, Julius Montrolius Jenkins, was this tall. And all of us were tall, sisters and brothers. What size shoe are you? Um, I wear 43. 43. A reason to hate him. <laughs> he wears a size 43 shoe at that height. Yeah. And I always wanted to have small feet. 
But unfortunately, my brother had them and I didn't. So what I want you to do with all your fierceness is walk down this runway. I see Come everything. on, we're ready. We're hyped. Woo! Put your hands together, please. Now do it again and take off your coat as you're walking. No, no, as you're walking. That's what's up. Now, now, let me give you old school. Hold this. Go, Miss J. Strotted. Show us. I'm going to give you real old school. <laughs> Good girl. Yes. Or as they like it done at Eve Center on. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please. Bam! Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jay, so we're going to be having a little chat, if you don't mind. Yes, we can chat. Yeah, let's have a chat. You want to sit down? Yeah, yes, let's sit talk down. to me. Okay. So, uh, remember how we were talking about, you know, how modeling, uh, modeling has changed? Uh, Instagram models now as opposed to uh, editorial models and runway models. What do you have to say uh, regarding that? Look, I love a girl in the hustle and a guy in the hustle who always needs a job, looking for a job and out there. But unfortunately for how the business is changing a lot, it's sometimes too many people are involved in the process. Okay. And right now we do have a lot of models who become quite famous or popular from Instagram. Okay. And it's about that team. I always say that anybody can be a model with the right team of people behind them. Okay. But sometimes you need really good DNA. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you guys hear me? Because I, I hear this really weird. Can you hear me? Okay. Do you want so, us to switch? Let's switch. I think this no, is no, 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 oh, no. Okay. No, no. So when you have the girls that are working now, sometimes you have girls that come from different countries that become the popular girls. There was one time it was all about the Belgian girls. The walk was a little bit off, but great. You had a moment where all the English models were very popular. Then a lot of girls from Czech Republic and Drotsky, the Russian girls. Okay. Um, but this business you can do, if you can't do catwalk and editorial, you can do publicity. You can sell vacuum cleaners. You can sell washing machines. Mm -hmm. That's for the job. Okay. For girls, a lot of money is made in publicity. I think a lot of the high fashion jobs pay off when you get the covers of Vogue and all the different magazine covers. It's great for the ego yeah. and great for the pocket if you sign on a great campaign. Okay. Black girls are always going to have it a little bit rough because it's supply and demand. Okay. And if there's not supply for a bunch of black girls, they use the same black girls over and over until the next girl comes in. Okay. Also, too, I think the spirit of the energy of the business is okay. changing based on social media. Yeah. So people are now booking you based on how, much, how many followers that you have, which I think is a bit crazy. I think if you're talented and have the, the, the goods, deliver. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, that's cool. Now I'm gonna ask you another question regarding 
yourself and America's Next Top Model. Oh, Lord so, Jesus. Yes, I'm sure we're all interested in that. Uh, so reading your book, it's, it's a long way. You were already into the fashion industry way before you got into America's Next Top Model, before you met Tyra. Would you I, say you perfected Tyra's walk? I, I, I coached her in the beginning, just, but just hanging out backstage at shows. Okay. I think for me, as I said, my education has nothing to do with fashion at all. Zero. Yeah. It's something that happened. I took advantage of it, and I made it work. Okay. And I also stay true to me. I didn't look for anyone, not my mother, my father, friends, family, no one to validate who I was. Yeah. I did me, and I've been doing me, and will continue to be me. I think it's very, very important for anybody. Yes, yes, extremely. And Wonderful. we're in a business where we choose you based on beauty. Yeah. And everyone's not going to like you in Milan, but you'll do great in Paris. Yeah. You'll do amazing in, in, in New York City. Yeah. So everybody has their own sort of like little pockets mm -hmm. where people love them and care about them and think that this girl's the next best thing. Okay. And the staying power for the girls these days, it's not as long as it used to be. So girls and guys, save your money when you make it. Invest yeah. it properly. But remember, the most important thing for you to do as a model is to show up on time and be professional. Okay. And everyone's not gonna like you, but somebody will absolutely love you and give it 100%. It's so, so, so important. It really is. Wonderful, thank you very much. Uh, the next question is gonna be on confidence. So uh, also in- Confidence. It, yeah, I know we touched on that briefly, but in your do's and don'ts, remember you had that in the book? You talked about things that you should do when you're seeing a designer and things that you shouldn't do. So what-, what you have to sort of go in there and help sell their image. Okay. There may be certain things that Tracy may want from the girls. Okay. I've seen a few of her shows. I know that she wants to be beautiful, confident, and simple and easy. Okay. Julie, on the other hand, child, Julie may want some extra drama. <laughs> I went to show his, of his with girls walking on cobblestone in heels this high. Really? But it was fierce, though. Okay. <laughs> it was fierce. But one girl, baby, came out. She was trying to make it in those heels. I'll never forget it. And then Julian dress, and then the heels just took her down. She had to have a really hot guy model come out and help her down, which I thought that was her excuse uh -huh. to get the guy. Because, uh -huh. baby, she walked out, she started. <laughs> and, of course, the hot guy comes up behind her. And you saw her like this. <laughs> so she that was her way to get a man now also if you don't feel comfortable with photographers when they tell you we're going to shoot some nudes but don't worry only topless if you don't feel comfortable don't do it I also say when you're shooting beauty as a model use your entire body for the picture. Some people don't. They're only shooting me from here up. I use my entire body. You need to communicate with the photographer by a body language. If you don't know, ask questions and help guide him. And sometimes, I, this is my reset. And when I say reset, after the camera goes click, you change your body position, it's sort of like, you just move, just shift, small things. Girls, when you're modeling for women, body language is this, it's back. When you're modeling for men, it's forward, because you're trying to attract the male ego. I mean, you do have those magazines. But there's one thing that all girls do, no matter what race, it's that sexy picture. And here it is. <laughs> Girls, and this is my other favorite. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna talk about body weight. <laughs> oh, you're not done. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is that? This is girl being sexy, so girl be sexy for me. <laughs> and remember, that's one step from an apple with honey in a video. Okay. Slow motion in a rap video. Girl, sexy can be this. Sexy doesn't mean grabbing yourself, touching yourself, baby. Save that for home, behind closed door, or the cheap hotel room. I agree. I, I totally agree. Now we're going to talk about body weight and body, sh well, starvation for the models. So a lot of models tend to want to... Um, go by the American standard or global standard as to how a model should look. But we have found that in recent times, the, the fuller girls are getting, you know, getting booked as opposed to the slimmer girls. So what do you have to say regarding how a model should manage her body and, you know, I like say that? keep your body toned. Just keep it toned. I mean, right now, fashion and beauty is an eye to behold that always has been. There's just a certain standard in, in the industry that allows girls to be this thin, but they do look better in clothes for the eyes of the designer. Okay. Uh, most people watching that want a fantasy. So most women who want to fantasize, if a woman is 50, she wants to maybe fantasize about being 30. Okay. 30-year-old may want to be 20. Okay. And a 15-year-old just wants to be grown in high heels and tight dresses. And also, too, I think it's how you approach okay. the, the industry. Okay. with open eyes and open arms. But I also say, listen with your ears. Pay yeah. attention. You um, it is a, they can eat you up mm -hmm. and spit you out. Yeah. Because there's always a beautiful girl who wants your job and wants your position. Okay, yeah, totally. And I think that girls need to eat healthy during fast food because I know one shady designer, Italian, mm -hmm who sends out the girls' measurements to the agencies before couture oh. and have them measure the girls to make sure they still have a certain body type. Oh. If not, they don't get booked. Oh. I knew one shady woman at Givenchy. If she didn't like the girl, she put her finger in the measuring table and said the girl was too fat. Oh, wow. Shady, darling. Oh, wow. It was so shady. Wow. But you see, the likes of Tyra. Tyra wasn't exactly like... Juicy. Yeah, she was extremely juicy. Tyra's always been... Juicy. So was she getting booked for, the, uh, for couture and, and all that? Well, she was getting booked for shows and working. Yeah. Because they weren't so into the girls being so thin. Yeah. But now the girls have gotten thinner. Okay. And the girls that are showing up are like 12 years old. Okay. So it's a whole different body type. You know, oh. But right now, it's about maintaining, maintaining your body, maintaining your weight. And like I said, everyone's not going to like you. Everyone is not going to love you either. All right. One last question before we go into, uh, before we get questions from the audience. Modeling, is it passion or is it hard work? Which one do you think would drive It depends. More? I think anything is passion. If you really are passionate about what you're doing, whether you're cleaning up garbage on the street, then girl, do it. Be fierce. Okay. Be fabulous. I mean, some people, it's a hobby. Some people just got stopped on the street to model, never thought they could do it. Mm -hmm. And then you, you learn. It's, okay. it's, you learn as you go along. Okay. All right, wonderful. So I'm going to be taking questions from, from the audience, okay? Hello, All right. Jay. No, I, want to, I want to do a walk. Jay, watch me, okay? Jay, what do you think? No? No? Okay. So I'll take a question here. I think she works at a bank. <laughs> Stick to a baby. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Ooh. I love this girl's face and her skin is flawless and I told her earlier that I hate her for it. That's going on my YouTube channel, by the way. Anyways, um, so my question is about modeling and not necessarily in the runway aspect. So I recently got, okay, so I'm a blogger. I do content creation with beauty, lifestyle, everything. Um, and I recently got like my very first international campaign for a modeling gig completely 100% by accident. And when I did that, I was just like, oh my God, I really want to do this. Given my, because I'm not tall, I'm like five, three and a half, and I'm not going to stop eating. 
Um, she likes to eat. <laughs> I like to eat, and I do not like cardio. So, how do I go at it? And I know, like, I'm really good with, like, face stuff, because that was a job that I did, so it was a lot of shoulder up type of thing. So, how do I go at it, and how do I pursue this further? And am I too old for it? <laughs> a woman who tells her age will tell anything, is what I say. You've been pursued, just do it. Yeah. They chose you for you. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to think about. Beauty is here, beauty is here. Remember, the average woman is not six foot seven in a size two. So if they came at you, gave you the idea, the contract, you already shot a baby, do your thing, keep on doing it. That's Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Jay. I'm going to take a question from here. Ah, so it's four. Ah, okay. Stand four. up. <laughs> Ooh, girl, that eyeshadow, baby. <laughs> Ooh, girl, what color gold? Is that white gold? It's a shimmer, a shine, a sparkle, and a glitter, girl. Thank you. Wow. She's giving you Chinese, Asian, slanted, winged eye. All right. Talk to me, baby. Please, I want to ask. You said something on size, the body, and for people like us that have fashion in modeling, that we are. Okay, mom, when you're going to talk, kind of you can't. I can't hear you when the mic is over here. Okay. Please, I want to ask. You said something on size, the body. So, people like me that are plumpy and we like, we have passion for modeling. So, I don't know if you can at least say something on that weight. Do you know how many, there's a, quite a bit of modeling agencies in the U.S. right now that have plus size girls and they're working. They're now part of Fashion Week. So, they are working. So, there's room for everybody and every shape and size, especially if you're plus size and your proportions are in, in order. Is there any modeling agencies here that represent plus size girls? Uh, not necessarily plus size girls, but we definitely have modeling agencies. Okay. Now, remember you spoke about Instagram modeling, so yes. I guess that could also apply. Well, yes, because I mean, people are looking at this stuff every single day. Yeah. People are looking at Instagram every single day. Products, yeah. Product placement mm -hmm. on who can help sell the product. That's beauty. Yeah. So right away, you yeah. know, they can look at her and say, okay, we want that. Yes. And we, we're booking it and we're going to use it. But you don't need to be size zero, like I said, to have a career. Because right now, the business is changing a fashion. Um, Mr. J. How I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. J. I'm the prettier Sorry. one. I'm the prettier one. Sorry. The blonde Ms. was J. Mr. J. I'm Sorry. the prettier one. How did you come to the conclusion that modeling was your superpower? Or modeling is it your was, superpower. I was How walking. You discover yourself? Okay. I was walking down the street in New York City on Madison Avenue, okay. and a woman named Cathal Carnegie, who's still my friend to this very day, stopped me and said, you know, you should go see this designer, Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I thought, who? She said, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I thought, look. I went in to see him. He was showing in New York City. Then it happened. I went in. I did the casting. He liked me. He booked me. Then Monique Pilar, who was then the owner of Elite in New York, she said, you should go to Japan. She introduced me to my agent, who was still my agent, until this very day. He told me she got there. I started doing stuff in Japan, and it went okay. Being too tall wasn't really happening. Then they said you should go to Paris. And I went to Paris. I mean, I lived in Japan about two and a half, three years. And I went to Paris, and Paris got into it, and then it was like, okay, the novelty of this guy who was modeling as a guy and a girl kind of wore real quick. But a girl needed to make money. She needed to pay the rent. <laughs> so the next thing I could do was play basketball. But I discovered a pair of high heels instead. <laughs> With that being said, I just would imitate girls and make fun of them and show them how to walk. And the very first designer to approach me backstage was Valentino. The guy named is Carlos Azusa. He said, darling, darling, you are very, very good with showing the girls how to walk. I want to say there's a very beautiful girl named Jolene Speck was the girl's name, Dutch girl. And after that, I began to teach the girls how to walk, just backstage, doing it for free. Then I realized, baby, rent needs to be paid. So I was like, girl, get on the hustle. You know, make a couple of coins. 
So that happened. Tara Banks and I have been friends since she was 14, 15. Kimberly Simmons and I have been friends since she was 13. So when Tara approached me, I was the very, per for, very first person that she asked to be on the show. And I knew nothing about television, zero about TV, other than watching television. And when that happened, I began to teach myself along the way. Then for the first three or four years, I only did elite models because elite represented me. Then I began to work with Alexander McQueen and Katie England because they would send girls to me with a drawing of the dress and the shoes and have the girl walk up and down explaining to me. So that's when I learned where the hands to be for Givenchy versus, you know, in the back, Ungaro. They didn't like the hands this way, like the hands this way. Cherry Mugler, Claude Montaigne, they all had something different in each of their walks. But what they wanted from each and every one of you was a confident walk, which is so, so important. So that's how it happened. And I, again, I stay clear to me and true to me because but without that, God knows where I would be. Okay, so I'm going to take, okay, you know what? I think we should take two more questions after this. What do you think? And I'm going to put you on the spot. Girl, I have that's something you for you. You put me on the spot, baby. <laughs> you may not like my Thank answer. Thank you. Amazing shoes. Love them. Oh, thank you. Mark Jacobs. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Oh, 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 her. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Miss J, you're, you are amazing. Um, so my question is actually on how young uh, models are becoming, because I do believe what you're talking about here mostly is um, um, Africa's next top, top model. So we have a lot of parents who are really opposed to their young children being put, in, so. put in the limelight, you know, mm -hmm. um, they go for modeling shows that could stay till 10, 11 p.m. Uh, you have 12, 13 year olds being exposed to drugs and uh, adults who might not be as morally grounded as they should be. Um, so I just want to know your opinion. In Africa, we are kind of limiting in uh, exposing our children to, um, you know, even events like this. Uh, not a lot of parents would let their, their kids model. Even well, first of all, I say any responsible parent will be there with their child. And that child should not be working at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Okay. That's for starters. Um, girls should not go see for any girl or guy. Let me explain to you, this whole sexual abuse stuff is not just for women. It's happening to the guys too. You should not go to any casting after nine o'clock at night at a photographer up in the hills somewhere. Okay. Mm. Excuse me, you wanna do what? Hey baby, hey, 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 you're very beautiful. You want to be a model? Come to my place. Where is it? It's in the northern part of you know, Nigeria. How long am I going? Two and a half hours away. Oh, hell no. Okay. Thank you for coming. Good evening, everyone.